Hello again. We're doing exponential growth, and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about our growth model, our formula, and we're going to do a word problem really quickly with it, which I think is pretty fascinating. I think a lot of the times when you do these problems, you do something like, I put eight, you know, $1,000 in the bank at 8% interest. How much am I going to make up? Those are boring problems, and you can do them with a calculator, and I probably can't do that off the top of my head, so I want to do something that I think is pretty fascinating. Now, before I get to that fascinating problem, I want to talk about uh, what an exponential growth model is. Basically, we've been working with uh, particular types of functions. Linear functions, which are straight lines. And we've also done absolute values, which are two straight lines that are joined at a vertex. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on um, functions, kind of like linear, except they have a bend in them. And they generally raise up faster than regular linear functions. Generally, it, it depends which linear function you're talking about to exponential, but eventually the exponential will overtake the linear at some point. It's, it's given. Um, there's a trick my uh, uh, teacher used to say, would you rather take a million dollars a day for 30 days, or would you rather start at a dollar a day and then double it every day for 30 days? And you add up both of those, which one would you rather have? And you know, a lot of students would do the uh, million dollars a day, but if you do the dollar a day, for 30 days and you double it each day, you'll actually make more with that. And you can try it out. And what that second example is, is it's an exponential function, and the first one's a linear, and uh, the exponential outgrows it. Well, anyways, uh, population on Earth is the same way. It, it, it's grown exponentially over the last 110 years. We went from 1 billion to about 7 billion 100 years later. Uh, but enough with that, though. So I want to talk about this growth model. This whole thing is called the growth model. Why is whatever the answer is, whatever it's equal to over a specific period of time? A is the initial amount that I start with. R is the rate that something grows at. 1 plus R is something called the growth factor. And you add those together. And T is the time period that we're working with. And there's usually an example I use in my class that uh, relates to a story about mice. And I tell a story, and it usually takes about five minutes, but it's a great opening story. Unfortunately, I can't just convey stories all the time on camera. Instead, what i got to do is just get to the material. But it is actually pretty cool, and uh, I, I like telling it in my class. I just wanted to share that I thought it was interesting. I'm not going to do it, though. So, uh, yeah. so you see two mice. Let's just say you're, you're at your house and you see two mice. And the growth rate of a mouse is 100% for every month. I don't actually know if that's true. You have to wiki it to see if it is. But I know mice that grow, uh, they breed faster than human beings, to say the least. How many mice will you have after six months? And this is uh, very similar. If you have a rodent infestation problem or an uh, insect infestation problem, you're supposed to get rid of them. And that's why people set mice traps and try to get rid of them. Because once you see a mouse, I guarantee you there's many more around. So you've got to get, uh, get that taken care of. Otherwise, they'll run through your walls. And Basically, be unpleasant. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out how many mice I have after six months. And later on, we're going to do the same problem, except we're going to graph it, but not really, just to show you what an exponential function looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and erase uh, these variables and put up my problem. If you did not write it down, just go ahead and rewind it very quickly. Pardon me. Y is going to be the answer after six months. A is the number of mice that we're starting with, and we're going to start with two mice. We're going to use parentheses, one plus the growth rate, and the growth rate is 100%. You know, uh, whatever the percent is, is the rate. And it's all taken to the power of T, which is the time period I'm working with, which is six months. Now that's actually not right. Uh, you don't leave it as 100%. What you do is you turn it into a decimal. Whatever this is, you divide by 100. Uh, if it were 200%, you'd still divide it by 100. If it were 8%, you divide it by 100. If it were 1,062%, you, know, you would divide it by 100. That's how you turn a percent into a decimal. So 100% divided by 100 is 1. And it's to the power of 6. Now, like I said, my growth rate is 1, which stands for 100%. My time period is 6. My initial amount is 2. I don't actually know my growth factor yet. Actually, I do. Until I simplify what's in parentheses. So 1 plus 1 
is 2, and it's all to the power of 6. Now, one mistake that students make, and they just go ahead and they put this in their calculator and they get the wrong answer and they can't figure out why, and I tell them, you know, you shouldn't just put things in the calculator. You should figure out what you're doing first because it makes the math so much better, so much more fun. But if you are going to plug this into a calculator, here's what I suggest. Order of operations, 2 to the 6th, figure out what the answer is, then multiply by 2. I think uh, some calculators, when you substitute it in like this, they don't do it right. Some, not all. I, and I can't give you a model as to what it is because I don't use the calculator. So this is 2 to the 6th power, which is 2 times 2, which is 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. And 2 times 64 is 128. So if you, <laughs> if you don't know, do anything about your rodent infestation problem in six months, assuming they grow at 100% per month, you've got a, you don't got a family of mice, you've got a new colony of mice. You know, and they're going to you know, try to form an independent sovereign and you know, pass laws and constitution and whatever, so probably best to get rid of those, you know, you know, two mice before they start a revolution and 128 mice come in, so, yeah. And it was funny, when I started working with exponential problems, I, I finally figured out the math as to why you have to get rid of roaches, why you have to get rid of mice. I didn't really realize they grow exponentially until I did that. I know they grow fast, but I didn't know the term exponential until uh, I started working with problems like that. Anyways, with that said, have a good day. Take it easy.